What's up, guys? So this was a game against Scrap Dino. Scrap Dino is a bit of a frustrating matchup, obviously, because of the whole um, um, misc and, and just Dino's having loads of good starters. Having said that, like a lot of other matchups of Virtual World, if you do get the Shen Chen Chu Shen Loop going, they're pretty screwed, simply because they do need their cards to hit the graveyard to play the game. The other thing that they are quite weak to, obviously, is that they have their misc obviously to protect them during the main phases but during the back battle phase they don't have a lot of protection and so especially with your traps like chuche you can really cause a huge issue for them which is what you're going to see in this game so you start off obviously my goal is to just accrue advantage now funnily enough um in the profile reach you see i don't actually play crocosaur anymore crocosaur is a good card but one of the things that actually stopped me from um, um playing crocosaur in this deck was just that i simply found that it wasn't coming up enough to be relevant it is nice as spot removal but vermilion is also removal and the fact that crocosaur makes me discard two cards most of the time i don't want to throw away two cards just to get rid of one card i'd rather go into zeus or something if i'm going to do a play like that so that's why i don't really play anymore it is nice that it draws your card obviously but i've wanted to mitigate obviously if i have to discard two cards which does suck but anyway game one i do manage to kind of sneak that win he actually made a mistake i don't know if you guys noticed he banished all the cards from his hand with um um oh actually i just realized actually, that's not a mistake because it isn't i thought he was doing it because of um shen shen but actually evolution pillar does vanish but in any case yeah he does um kind of make his standard turn one board it is a bit of a frustrating board to get through obviously he's got three no he's got two negates and he's got a book of eclipse on the um on the tyranno which is very difficult to play through but luckily i do have a, a few starters that kind of let me play the game at least a little bit but then he had the Gamma as well. I wasn't expecting the Gamma. When he made Lambda, I thought it was just generic, but no. When I saw that he made the Gamma as well, that's I was like, there's no way I can beat that. So I ended up having to scoot to that board. But then I'm quite lucky going first. And funnily enough, looking at his hand, his hand is actually quite insane. But um, I opened the Bell and the Gamma, which makes it hard for him to do much. So obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is Bell. The reason why I didn't want to use um, Gamma on his Gamma was weirdly enough because i was scared that he might have bell or he might have ash which is why i wanted to use the bell first and if he used um, ash or something then i could use my gamma afterwards but yeah he does use the gamma later but he uses the gamma at a point in my combo where it literally doesn't matter anymore i mean I, yeah the gamma matters for the first kind of one or two cards but after that you literally don't care and i just go for my standard standard chen chen chu che with the ptolemy to recur me i like ptolemy because ptolemy is obviously going to make it very hard for him to play the game and then also my uh, secret side i don't run this as much as i used to but obviously i have the chaos space and the ghost spell chaos hunter sorry and ghost spell as well so now i mean his his evolution pills dead i had um ghost spell as well so you had to commit prank drops to that but i mean he, he's not going to get to do much anyway so it ends up being a pretty easy win right there thanks for watching guys